big, oh. big week. College football is kicking off, and we're going to talk about that here in a little bit. But I kind of want to start with the NFL, if that's all right with you guys. No. Uh, okay, well, then let's go <laughs> politics. <laughs> what do you guys think? Economy? Uh, oh, Gas yeah. prices? All right. Dude, they're... It's all bad. It's okay. all bad. Let's let's. I think NFL is probably a better idea. All right, let's do that, and let's uh, let's start with our Bears here. Listen, linebacker Lance Briggs. Oh, jeez. Asked for a trade right now. Less than a week before the first game, <laughs> Lance Briggs decides, I want to be traded. Well, I'm I, sure Jerry Angelo's going. Sure, Lance. We'll 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 just go the extra mile here before the season starts. Less than a week, and we'll trade you. Well, this is uh, you know I looked up, but what's happened is. Lance asked for a raise. The Bears did not give him one. So now he wants to be traded. He said, they, you know, I have nothing but respect. I'm paraphrasing here. You know, they, they made their decision. Now I have to make mine. Uh, Lance Briggs signed a six-year, $36 million deal in 2008. This year he's set to make $3.9 million. Next year, $4 million even. And then in 2013, $6.5 million. And, uh, you know, I always take the side of the players, it seems like. I mean, I feel like I always do. But I did some research on this last night. Lance Briggs is is getting paid right about what he's worth. I mean, statistically, he's just as good as a, uh, a Jonathan Vilma or, sure. an a, or an A.J. Hawk. Yep. He's not in the top tier. He's right in that, you know, in the, the serviceable starter range. He's not. He's a six-time pro bowler, but, uh, but he's not – he's just not – on that same level where he can go asking for for more money. But if it's me, if I'm the Bears, I don't give him another penny, and I rarely say something like that. No, I'm, I'm with you on that. Lance Briggs signed a six-year deal. He's three years through it. Uh, he's making a little less than $4 million this year. Uh, I'm sorry. He's, like you said, I believe he's making about what he should make. And, mm-hmm. and, and you know, now I think the problem is he's, he's hearing all these contracts now. Chris Johnson and Gore signed an extension, and they're making just money, you know, Hand over fist, and I think all of a sudden he's decided. Well, I I need to I need to get me some of that. Well, yeah, sorry, Lance, linebacker as opposed to running back and quarterback, and that you're not going to do it. And, and, and you know you're not Patrick Willis. Exactly, you, you know, right. you're not you're not one of these top guys. Hey, five two nine one four five zero. Before I forget, that's the phone number if you want to call in and chat. But no, it's you know to me I'm. You know, I'm wondering if he maybe overvalues himself. See, Lance Briggs is one of these guys where everyone kind of knows his name. You know, you know, it, so when I first heard about this, I was like, well, yeah, why aren't they going to give this guy more money? And then when I went looking a little bit deeper, I was saying, man, I think his, his name, you know, maybe it, is it ranks a little bit higher than his actual performance, if well, that makes sense. Eric, also, don't you think he suffers being in the shadow of Brian Urlacher? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that, that doesn't he's not help. Even, he's, he's not even the, 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 the highest uh, uh, or best-known linebacker on yeah. his team. So that, that's got to kind of eat at him, even though I'm sure he'll claim it doesn't. Oh, yeah, no, and number two, he's definitely number two. But it, Lance Briggs has got talent, no doubt. He's a, And he could go start on probably any team in the league. Sure. But uh, but he's not He's not going to be a year-in, year-out pro bowler. He was down under a ta- under 100 tackles last season. Um, you know, the top guy, the guy on uh, the guy on New England. What's that guy's name? Oh, their best. Mayo? Linebacker. Here it is. Mayo. Gerard Mayo. Had like 171 tackles last year. You know what I mean? Lance Briggs got 89. So maybe cool off a little bit on on your demands and just go play some football. Hey, let's go to the phone lines. That's what I like. Caller, you're on Sports 101. What's up? Hey, how you guys doing? Not Great. too bad. It was at the Rochester Jacksonville game last night, and it was one of those games where whoever you were rooting for, you just had this impending feeling of doom. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the other one for so long, you know, up until like midway through the fourth quarter, you just had this bad feeling that something bad was going to happen because, you know, that, that tight end for Jacksonville, he's fantastic. You know, I don't think they got the ball in his hands as much, but wow, what a, what a job by the backup quarterback for Rodgers. Well, you know, that's incredible. 27 for 34 for 418 yards and six TDs. Any you know, that's, that's just amazing to me. I mean, uh, this kid who, uh, you know, has to fill in for Wes Lund, who is a dynamite uh, quarterback in himself, and, and this kid's doing a, a fantastic job. You take those fantasy points, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Hey, uh, caller, you know, you were talking, that was tough to watch, um, but it, isn't that, aren't those the most fun games to watch where no defense can stop the offense and it's just a big giant shootout and you don't know who's going to win? It's a lot further to watch when you, have, when you don't have an interest in either team. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 
Well, that Jacksonville that Jacksonville team is is not a bad team. I mean, I don't know if that forty one twenty eight score really indicates how how good that Jacksonville team is. So they're going to beat some people this year, no question about it. But uh, that, when I saw that score, and I saw you know, in the course of the, the receiver for Rochester Grant, uh, my goodness, sixteen catches, unbelievable. Right. Well, yeah, that's he's, he's, got the, he's got the ability to get open. Wow. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to. Uh, Boy, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to catch some some Rochester football at, at some point this season. Yeah, thank you very much for the call. Um, I just, it's hard for me to get out and and watch a lot of high school games. It's just, you know, I'm right in the middle of moving. I have three small kids. Like I'm kind of, a, I'm, I'm thirty. I'm almost thirty one. If I like, when I was a lot closer to my high school age, I watched. You know, when I was twenty, twenty one, I went to a lot of high school games. But now I feel like I have to kind of wait until my kids get a little older. And then I'm going to be way more invested in it again. I just can't do it right now. Well, I don't have time. I understand. I, when 